Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to model loads and generate load combinations in RAM Elements Connect Edition. RAM Elements is a finite element-based general analysis program with an integrated design toolkit. In RAM Elements, you can design complex three-dimensional structures or individual structural components. In the RAM Elements main application, a model is built by entering information such as element properties or loading into a series of data sheets. We will now switch our attention over to the RAM Elements sample dataset model that was supplied with this training. Now for this first video, we are going to be spending our time exploring the load condition tools that are available in the home tab of the ribbon. Through these tools, we can create new load cases and load combinations. We can delete load cases. We can generate our load combinations using one of the templates supplied with RAM elements, and we can also copy our loads from one load case to another. Let's first begin by defining our new load cases. To create a new load case, you're going to click on your Add and Edit Load Conditions tool available in the Home tab of the ribbon. Now you're going to notice that the dead load has already been created for you in any RAM elements model. Oh, this, although this load case does not currently contain any load items. In addition to that, you can create as many load cases that you're going to need for your particular model. For this sample model, we're going to be modeling several different types of loads within the live load case, snow load, and also wind load cases. So we'll go ahead and enter those into the top portion of the load conditions dialog. Now for each of these load cases, you've probably noticed that there are three different fields that you need to populate. The first is the load case identifier field. This is used to assign a name to the load case. The ID will be displayed in outputs where load cases or combinations are reported. The next field you're going to find is your description field. This is used to specify a more detailed description of each load case. The last field is very important. This is your category field. This will define the load case types to be used in your load combination generator. Now before we exit out of the load conditions dialog, you're also going to notice that there are several different tools available over at the right hand side through the use of these icons. These icons can be used to rearrange the order of your load cases, and you can also use these icons to save these load cases to a default folder for RAM elements. This way, if you use these load cases on several different products, you can just import them rather than create them each additional time. Once you're done defining your load conditions, we'll go ahead and click on our OK button. Now once your load cases are created, you're going to notice that you have a load conditions pop-up menu down in the status bar. This will be very important as you move forward and model your load items within each load case. Your process would be to select the active load condition and then any loads that you model while that active load condition is selected will be assigned to that particular load type. Now the next tool we're going to show you how to use is how to generate your load combinations in RAM elements. We have two different methods that you can utilize for this. The first is you can manually specify your load combinations. If you prefer that work flow, you can come up here and again just click on your add and edit load conditions icon and you can see once you've created your load cases, you can specify your load combinations manually down here. Say for example I want dead load plus live load. I can enter that and then I'll enter a factor of 1.0 on each particular load case if appropriate. 
You'll also notice that you can also save your load combinations for future projects and reorganize them as needed. In addition to that, you can also use the load combination generator supplied with RAM elements. To generate your load combinations using the load case categories that you already defined, we're going to come up to our load condition tools and select your generate load combinations icon. Here you're going to find that RAM elements comes with a list of available codes for load combination generation. We have several different US and international design codes, both supporting ASD and LRFD design. And we also have a couple of load combination generators that can take care of your amplified seismic factored combinations in case seismic provisions are relevant for your project. For this particular model, we're going to select the ASCE 710 LRFD factored load combinations file. Now you're going to notice that when you select a generator over at the left hand side of the dialog, the right hand side of the dialog will be populated with the formulas that will be created. If we go ahead and scroll down, we're going to notice some different nomenclature is going to be used. Now the combination formulas that will be generated for the selected combinations will be indicated and you're going to notice that a few load cases have the word and in front of them and a few have the word or. If your load case has an and before that load case such as what appears typically before dead load or live load, this indicates that those load cases are additive. For a few load combinations, if you have maybe a lateral load, such as wind or seismic, you're going to see the word or before the load case. This will indicate that only one load from that category will be applied to a single load combination. In addition, we also have several different generator file tools that are available over at the right hand side of the dialog through those icons. Now the generator files that are installed with RAM elements cannot be modified, but you can, however, create your own load combination generator files. To do that, you can click on the new generator icon, and this will allow you to create your own custom combinations that you can use on your current job or for future jobs if needed. Now once you review all of your load combinations and select the appropriate generator, we're going to click on the generate button and we'll be able to see all the different load combinations that will be selected. Every one of them that has a check mark next to it, and it means that it will be created. And we'll review the list, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. And in addition to your load cases, you're now also going to see your design load combinations appearing down in your status bar. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.